Hey, it's Dr. Brenda, founder of the Gutsy Women Club, where women dare to dream and take bold actions to follow their heart's journey. So I'm coming at you with yet another campground review. I am at Union Grove Corps of Engineer Campground, and it's uh, outside of a, a town called Salado in Texas. It's about uh, 60 miles north of Austin. So here's my review. I'm giving these guys five stars so let me go through everything for you and then i've got a video and i have even a bonus video of dana peak park which is about a 15 minute drive just on the other side of the lake great little hiking area campsite this is like one of the biggest best campsites i have ever been in i have a, a separate a uh, place for the car. I have um, a really long, I've got a 32 foot RV. There's lots and lots of space here. So everything is gravel, very, very even. The really cool thing is uh, behind me is the lake. I can open up my back window in my RV, which is hardly ever happens and get this incredible view of the lake, especially the sunsets. I have next to me a, a big picnic table under a uh, it's a, under a covered covered shelter. That's fantastic. It has a little um, grill where I can you know charcoal use my charcoal and make up some food. Great little campfire circle. Big lots of space between me and the neighbors. Campsite total five restrooms. Whoa, really clean, great tiles. Uh, modern, warm water, fantastic restroom, a door that locks. Safety. I'm up. I'm gonna. I almost skipped amenities and trails because that's where it's a Corps of Engineer campground. So a Corps of Engineer campground. Now, first of all, they're they're. It's not uh, staffed regularly. They there is a ranger. Uh, I saw a ranger drive by um, once, but um, there's not. There are not a lot of amenities here and. There aren't really trails. You can walk around the the roadway, which is a nice nice little walk, but you don't have trails. There is a playground, but the playground was uh, um, basically fenced off, so uh, there wasn't a place to play for the the playground. I would have loved to. I went had to go off site to find some firewood, and it would have been really nice to find a place that has kayaks. Um, I haven't seen anybody kayak on the lake, so I see it's got a pier, so it's got a fishing pier, and um, you know people are are taking their boats, and you know it's got a boat dock. So, so it's got some. I gave it a three there. Safety, I'm giving it a four. I feel safe, but I there's, it's it's. It's totally unstaffed, so to get into the campground, I had to get in. I have a four-digit code that I received by email, and that's how I opened the gate to get into the campground. But there's just, um, um, you know, the bathrooms I felt secure. I feel pretty safe here, but I don't know that it's really, that you've got rangers um, really frequenting the place. So I gave it a four cleanliness very very clean that's got a that's a five everything the facilities are clean that my site is clean there the lake there's not a lot of garbage lying around so it's really a very very nice campground in the end i'm giving it my five campfire review it gets five partly because it is a corps of engineer campground and they're not known for their amenities so i i didn't feel like i should really knock them down on the whole trails and amenities when that's not really the function of Corps of Engineer campgrounds. The, 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 the wonderfulness of the site, the campsite itself makes up for anything. The restrooms are great. So yep, this one gets a five. I hope you really like the video. And um, um, yeah, until, until the next review, you guys take care. Maybe I will see you on the road. Bye bye. This is the main entrance area. The GPS took me right here, Union Grove Road. It was no problem to find at all. Very, very easy. So you can see you've got a 14 day camping limit. And that's true, I believe, of almost every state, national park and Corps of Engineers site. And we've come across the main 
check-in area and you can see that the gate is up. This is an unstaffed campground and the gatehouse is closed. Reservations only. And again, you're going to check your email confirmation code for that four digit gate code and you're going to enter it at the next gate. So very, very convenient, but yes, you've got to make reservations. So I mentioned that the campground is completely unstaffed. So one way out and to get in, pay attention to your email. They will email you and on that email, there is a code four digit code. So all you need to do is punch it in there and the gate will open and let you in. Now this is uh, as of again, March 2021, whether they staff the campground later, I don't know. In between the main entrance and the gate where you're going to have to punch in your code is the dump station. So there, you, you have uh, sites with water and electricity, but there's no sewage. So this is where you're going to find your dump station. This is my site. I'm at site number four and it's incredibly generous. I really, really like it. I've got a separate place for my vehicle. Go Gutsy Women Club. And then the RV is down here. It's, it's my RV is 32 feet long and you can see that um, um, this is a very generous uh, driveway. And then there is another area. It is Saturday, so there are kids in the campground it, during the week. It's very, very quiet. So it's, it's what you hear in the background. And so it's uh, just a very good size to manage to get my tent up. And then we've got a little outdoor grill, a wonderful covered picnic table. It is very big and I've dined out there. I've got the, my picnic table cover there, my bike here. And yeah, check out my view. I'm getting close to sundown. You see the sun go down in that direction uh, over the restroom and the sun comes up over here. Really lovely sunrises. I am in the process of building a fire because I also have a really nice fire circle. So um, I'm going to give you a tip. I just started building it. I have some really good firewood. I did not um, find a place here to purchase the firewood and a lot of times the campground firewood is not very good. I was in town doing errands. I stopped at a tractor supply because they usually have firewood. They did not. But he directed me to a guy. They just sell firewood. They're out. Um, I had to go towards Skylark Field. Skylark Field Airport. And uh, so, yeah, there is a tip for you. If you head out that direction on the left, you're going to find a guy who sells uh, uh, camp firewood. All kinds of wood. And so that... That is the source of that. I, I got two bags, eight bucks a bag. So, yep, there is your campfire tip. Hopefully these kids will be quiet and stay in their own place, right? All right, getting to be a grumpy old lady here was a rough day, but here's, here's the view. So, yeah, Corps of Engineer sites, campgrounds, they usually don't have a lot of amenities, <laughs> but they make up for it in the view. And this is a, a playground area, which you're going to see is all um, fenced off. And so it is uh, early part of March 2021. Hard to say. Um, uh, for what reason, if it's still COVID related, um, it could also be that there does not seem to be, this is not a campground where there is, there's a campground host, but it does not seem to be staffed. 
Um, so, yeah, so if you're here later in the year, I'd be curious to find out if they have uh, reopened this. It looks like it would be a really nice place for kids to play. But yes, everything is is roped off here. I was uh, hoping to find um, kayaks to rent, not in the campground. Um, so I may have to try to find a marina. I actually haven't seen anyone on the water in a kayak or a canoe. So I'm guessing it's not not all that popular. There are boats. I saw jet skis, but uh, that, that was it. So I'm, uh, I am parked. If you look straight ahead, that is where I am parked. And there's some campsites over this way. So I'm going to walk over this way, see if I can get your view of that side of Union Grove Campground. I am at the part of the campground. Now these are the higher numbered campground sites. I believe my section is 1 through 14. So these are uh, 15 and above. Goes all the way around the bend. But again, you see you've got really nice, nice views. I do prefer uh, my part of the lake. It feels a little bit more spacious and uh, quiet, but I do think I might get a little bit more wind than the folks down here. It's a Saturday here, which means it's busy and kind of noisy, but I'm going to show you, these are some day shelters that they have for gatherings and such. So, um, this one is uh, occupied, so I'm just going to see if I can show you what it looks like inside. And, uh, and we'll head out. So you've got a nice uh, lake view. And uh, it's very basic inside. Nothing but a, a covered shelter. But you've got picnic tables, fire pit, and a grill. Water spigot too. Um, so, you know, for those who just want to Get together and be here for an afternoon it's a pretty good setup isn't it and again here's the view the rvs out that way i believe are part of another campground i know i have walked this complete circle and they're not part of this so not sure how to get there but it's pretty hard to beat where i'm at anyway So I am uh, just walking the loop. It's quite a quite a ways, paved just like this, and you do end up in some pretty secluded areas. Always deer, so there are some deer way in the back there. But I've ridden ridden the loop, bike I've biked it, and I've walked it. And even though you don't have any you know, trails winding through the woods. Um, you do have a pretty good sized area just to walk in in the campground And of course, you know, no review is complete without checking out the restrooms This is the restroom in the uh, area where I am that service sites 1 through 14 Let's check it out Spick and span, very, very uh, nice tiles, uh, along with um, um, whatever that stuff is called, huh? Very nice. You've got one sink, hi, and a couple of uh, uh, toilet stalls, and you have one big shower 
with a lock on the door. Okay. This is, this is the Taj Mahal of campground showers, huh? Um, I have showered here. The water's nice and warm. Um, just a really top-notch restroom. Handicap accessible. Door that locks. Clean. Tiling. Lots of light. Uh, boy, I wish all the campgrounds had restrooms, all the parks and such had restrooms this nice. So, man, impressive, huh? And this is the view you get once you walk outside. It's an it's a overcast day today, and my RV is right over there, so pretty convenient for me. And I'll tell you what, that restroom gets a 5 out of 5 for sure. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Hey, guess what? I've got a surprise for you, a bonus. This is Dana Peak Park. And I'm gonna, this is about 10 miles, 11 miles from the campground, about a 15 minute drive. And you can see the campground from atop. So we're on the other side of Stillhouse Hollow Lake. And I'm just gonna, you know, show you some of the sights and Thought it'd be fun to add this in if you are in the park looking for hiking trails. This is a pretty good one. It's, uh, um, uh, you know, download the all trails map if you can, because there are a lot of little side routes that are not very well marked. They're fun, but they're not well marked. There's my warning to you. So in this journey, I'm coming at you from uh, Dan, Dana Peak, I believe it is, Dante Peak. And it's, um, it's a bit of a hike. I took a side path because, you know, I'm all about like checking out what's what those detours are. And it led me to this incredible view. Gorgeous day. I overdressed. It was, you know, high in the low 70s. And I don't know what I was thinking. Got my sweatpants on when I should have had my shorts. So way down there on that slip of land, that second slip of land hanging out, is my RV. About a 15 minute drive to get here. It's, it's a great place for mountain bikers, hikers, walkers, joggers, horses. Uh, yeah, but I definitely took off the beaten path. So I am at the end of this path. So it's time to turn around, come on back down and um, there's a uh, road Oh, a path coming along the, the waterway. So that's my route back and what a gorgeous day. This is what it's about, folks. This is our ring. It's about getting your hiking legs back, feeling the breeze, looking at the blue water. Yeah, it's a good day. Until later. I want you to listen. I don't know if you can hear it. It sounds like a Native American flute, just carrying in the wind. What a magical way to spend an afternoon. Well, I made it down. It was not always obvious where to go, so I made a couple of wrong turns. I have the All Trails app. I have now dead-ended on the trail. I go back and do a loop. I'm at the edge of the lake. Just let you listen for a while.
awesome. Okay, I am in the home stretch now. And this has not been all that interesting, this part of the trail. It's, it's more of an old road. Um, and uh, that's the hill ahead of me. pretty pooped out. I'm glad I'm headed back. Talk to you later.